Hey Todd, when's this video project do? Yo, Todd. Todd. Yeah? When's this video project do? Uh, I heard the video project's due Sunday. You're a little loud, man. No, I'm not. Yo, take your headphones off. Oh, yeah, I was being really loud. This instance should seem pretty recognizable, as many people have experienced this phenomenon before. Whether it's on a busy street corner, in a loud classroom, a party, or even when you're trying to talk to a friend while listening to music through headphones. So, we've experienced the situation before where we compete with our loud surroundings in order to be understood. But what exactly is it that is going on here? What is it that the speaker and listener are experiencing? This is the Lombard effect. The Lombard effect is the involuntary tendency to increase the volume and amplitude when speaking in an environment that is relatively loud. The reasoning for this is that the speaker is attempting to increase the audibility of their voice in relation to their environment. The Lombard effect was coined by Etienne Lombard, a French otolaryngologist and surgeon in 1911, while observing patients in the Hôpital Larry Bostier in Paris. He noticed that the patients would increase their speaking volume when presented with an intense noise. This Lombard speech differs from normal everyday speech in that it is characterized by the following elongated vowels, an increase in fundamental frequencies, more vocal emphasis on content words, and a higher oxygen usage for words. The Lombard effect is a significant concept within the medical and rehabilitation fields. There are applications of the Lombard effect in diagnostic testing, such as in hearing tests, as well as in studies of audio-vocal integration. Additionally, the Lombard effect is useful as a therapeutic tool for individuals who suffer from Parkinson's disease, as it causes speech and or voice impairments. The following video provided by LSVT Global provides insight into this rehabilitation process. Do this for me if you would. Take a deep breath and say ah for as long as you can. Ah. Good for you. Take a deep breath and say ah for as long as you can. While humans can identify with the applications of the Lombard effect, research has shown that it is also a principle relating to animals, such as cats, bats, and whales, and how it affects vocal plasticity as a whole. Additionally, the Lombard effect has relevance outside of the speech and hearing realm. It is also a consideration within architectural acoustics and design. Architects will use their knowledge of this effect to design structures that will reduce unwanted noises and increase speech intelligibility from within. The applications are still numerous from here, including linguistic and phonetic relevance among many others. With so many applications to various aspects of life, it is obvious that the Lombard effect has had a revolutionary impact on humankind thanks to the efforts dating back over 100 years ago by M. Lombard.